So, nakita natin yung sagot na kahit sa ang pageant naman, pag tinanong, the children are the future. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this time we will be having another reaction video sa very very hot issue regarding sa panalo ni Miss USA versus uh, during the top 3 sila na ang kalaban niya si Miss Guatemala, Miss Philippines and Miss USA. So medyo hot issue lang siya kasi it was a big deal ata yung difference no answers nila during the last questions of the Miss Grand International. So Tingnan muna natin yung kanilang mga answers. If there is only one dose of COVID-19 vaccine left, and you have to choose who to give it to, either between a 15-year-old or a senior citizen of 70 years old, who would you choose to give it to and who why? Who would you choose to give it to and why? So, sumagot si Miss USA. choose to give it to the 16 year old only because I believe that children are the future they are going to make the world a better place so nakita natin yung sagot na kahit sa ang pageant naman pag tinanong the children are the future so bukod sa uh, kanta na naririnig natin na the future <laughs> the children is our future <laughs> teach them well and let them lead the way <laughs> Huh? Okay, okay. Medyo gas-gas na kasing sagot siya na the children is the future. So, kung tatagalugin mo, galing kay Rizal, ang bata, ang ang kabataan, ang pag-asa ng bayan. So, parang ganun lang siya, di ba? They are the ones that are going to set examples for the future generation. And I believe that I will give it to the 16-year-old because I want the 16-year-old to have a better future in life. Because ang mga bata daw, they will set they will give ano i believe that they are going to change the world we need change for our world okay so parang redundant lang na inulit niya lang yung first sentence niya then inulit niya lang sa second paragraph niya na they will they will change the world on what di ba parang kasi yung pinaka question lang naman eh who would you give it to yung vaccine is it the senior or the youth? Poke row. <laughs> Poke row. Yun lang, na kailan din siya. Okay. Oh, sige. Later ko. Taposin mo natin si Philippines. Philippines. My heart goes to senior citizen because my mom is training senior citizen. Okay, she was direct to the point saying na uh, it, uh, she has chosen the senior citizen. And I experienced the loss of my dad four years ago and I cannot afford to lose my mom. Okay, based on experience. My heart goes to them because they are the most vulnerable during this time. Okay. Um, okay, so... Uh, she has chosen the senior because uh, senior daw yung mas vulnerable. So, ang senior medyo weak. So, that's why siguro sila yung pinili niya para mas maprotektahan because the vaccine will protect them. And A 15-year-old has the stamina to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, and correct naman to because mas malakas naman ang mga youth pa and yung resistensya ng katawan nila, mas kaya nilang labanan yung virus. And with proper exercise and healthy living, they can live with it. I know as well that every citizen here will choose and never afford to lose their parents. And so, I will choose senior citizen. Kapon ka. Okay, so, ngayon ko siya na nam-nam. Okay, so there you have it. 
as we all know, Miss USA yung nanalo. Okay. Okay. So, I will give my reaction on both parties. Okay. Miss USA pointed, pointed out that mas pipiliin niya yung youth over the senior citizens, over the oldies. So, and Miss Philippines naman, uh, mas, mas pinili niya na isave yung seniors over the youth. Okay. Yung point ni Miss USA, uh, given na medyo gasgas na gasgas na yung the children is our future. So, yun nga lang, hindi niya lang na elaborate masyado yung gusto niyang i-point out kasi parang nag-focus lang siya doon na the children is our future they will do uh, mas kay mas magagawa nilang ma-change yung mundo so parang ganun lang siya pero kulang lang sa elaboration pa more maybe kung nasagot niya ng maayos yun tas pinalawig niya pa yung sagot niya um uh, oh given na nanalo siya Siguro sabihin nating mas karabat dapat nga siyang manalo. Kung na-elaborate niya pa, niya pa mismo yung sagot niya. Okay, let's go to Miss Philippines. Miss Philippines, she was very confident with her answer. And even though she answered uh, na senior yung isa-save niya, it was uh, answered uh, based through her experience. So, ang kanyang sagot, it was, I think, it, it has a touch of personal. So, personal and experience. So, nahugot niya yung sagot niya kasi, oo nga naman, na-compare niya yung lakas ng senior at lakas ng youth. So, maybe yung thinking niya, it was her thinking na, ang vaccine ay para protektahan, di ba, ang katawan. So, she was thinking, dahil mahina na resistensya ng mga oldies natin, ng mga senior natin, she will give the vaccine to the senior. And, hindi naman sinasabing pababayaan yung youth, di ba? Kasi, the youth, malakas pa yan eh. So, kaya niya pang labanan yung virus. Unlike sa senior citizens na very weak na sila. So, I get her point. Both parties gets ko yung point. Get ko yung point ni USA, get ko yung point ni Miss Philippines. Pero, upon the, deliver, uh, uh, upon the yung pag-deliver ng sagot, madadala ka talaga sa Miss Philippines, Miss Philippines, which for me, she has the winning answer for me. Not because I am a Filipino, but because the answer was straight to the point, and it was delivered precisely, and it was delivered clearly. Even though Miss USA is okay, English siya, but it was redundant. Paulit-ulit yung sagot niya, and umikot lang siya. And even though nag-Thailand siya, nag siya, I don't even, uh, hindi ko pa nasusearch ko anong sinabi niya, hindi pa natatranslate. Maybe nadala siya nung pagtatay niya. I don't know. Uh, disclaimer lang, this is just a reaction video on the winning uh, uh, on the last question of the Miss Grand International and just giving my point na uh, both answers are no answers ay, both answers are correct naman walang maling sagot dito it's just the way kung paano nila deliver yung sagot and kung paano nila inexplain for me for this round I choose Miss Philippines to be the winner sana Pero, hindi natin alam dahil nanalo si Miss USA. Well, for me lang naman, kung magbe-base lang ako sa last question, ha? Doon lang sa last question. Kasi it was very, very timely yung sagot ni Miss, US, uh, Miss, I'm sorry, ni Miss Philippines. And it is uh, very, very direct to the point. And tuloy-tuloy lang kasi sumagot si Miss Philippines. Unlike Miss USA, medyo na-buffer pa siya ng konti. Maybe because marami siyang fans na nagsisigawan, naririnig naman natin yan. So, yun lang. And nadala siya siguro ng pagtatay niya. Magaling siya magtay eh. Kasi nanonood din ako ng tay eh. Ng tay, uh, tay novela. Okay. So, yun. So, magaling siya magtay. Siguro na pag aralan niya. I don't know yung background ni Miss USA. So, that's it. So, nilatag ko lang yung 
point pareho ng dalawang panic. So, for me ha, for me, I choose Miss Philippines to be the winner for the Miss Grand International. Okay. So, yun lang. Sayang. Pero, pero nakaka-proud pa rin bilang isang Filipina na, wow, first place tayo. Pandemic pa to ha, pero, wow, nakakuha tayo ng ranking sa Miss Grand International. Pero, kudos to you, Samantha. Galing. Wow. Hands up. Anyways, that's it, guys. So, yun lang. Ginawa ko lang to because it is very timely and now also a very hot topic, okay? So, there you have it. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. Okay, guys. Bye. Ciao.